Okay guys, I know I'm early today, but I told you on um, right here on YouTube on the community page of my YouTube channel on Instagram and on my in my Facebook group. Um, if you're not a part of my Instagram or Facebook, I will leave the direct links um, in the description box for you. So I uh, have a dinner meeting tonight at 6 p.m. my time on the East Coast. So um, starting at about 5.30 p.m. Eastern, I will not be answering emails. I will put my away message up on my email and I will get back to everybody, um, you know, once I get back to my desk. Um, so that's why we're doing this a little early today to try to get to as many emails as I can before I hit the road. Okay, so today we have a five pound mystery jewelry box from America's Thrift Supply. I haven't gotten one of these in a very, very long time. Um, I do have a code still with America's Thrift Supply dot com. Uh, when you're at checkout and you see the little um, above your total, it'll be the discount or promo code. If you type in Kristen, you will save 15% on every single one of your purchases. Okay. Here are the ordering instructions. In case you see anything you would like to purchase in this video, this information is also down in the description box. Today is a new week, so if you would like me to hold your items, you must pay for them, but I can hold off on shipping for the current week. You can shop all my videos for the week, and at the end of the week, I will send you a shipping invoice and combine everything and ship it together. If you don't advise me to hold your items, I will add shipping and ship during my next ship day, which will be Wednesday. Okay, so let's get started. This will be a number video, so make sure you're giving me the number and a brief description to this email address. Check the sold list, make sure you refresh the video after you watch, um, and then check the list and make sure the items you want are still available. Okay, now, I'm not exactly too thrilled with the fact that America's Thrift Supply sent this to me in just a padded poly bag. Um, I'm kind of nervous that the, the jewelry could have gotten damaged. Oops, that didn't work out too well. Um, so I am hoping that everything is okay. Um, here is my receipt, so we'll look at that in a second. Yeah, so I really hope none of this got broken. Um... I haven't, since I haven't gotten one of these lots in a long time, I really don't even know if they're, if they're great. Um, I do remember the last one that I got was not very great, and that's why I was giving it a break. But, let's see, I ordered this on 412, alright, 412, and um, with my 15% off code, Plus shipping, it came to $43.98 for five pounds of mystery jewelry. So again, this is like the Goodwill Blue Box and the Thread Up five pound. There is no guarantee that there's going to be wearable jewelry. Um, it's a, just a big gamble. And we'll see what we got. All right, let's bring you guys in a little closer and start with this little handful. I'm hoping that we're going to have all the matching earrings, so we'll put those to the side and see at the end. So this is actually cool because this is all glass. Let me move you guys in a little bit. Um, this is actually all glass, so that's pretty cool. Clear glass, no Uh, no clasp, but it's super de duper long. So let's get a measurement. So, I mean, you can wear this as is, or you can take it apart and make, make jewelry out of it. So it's 26 inches on the drop. 26 inches on the drop. It is faceted. And let's get a bigger bag for this one. Um, it's number one, and we will do... Let's do that for $6. Um, that's a lot of glass beads there. So number one is $6. All right. Let's see what this is. 
This might have been something handmade. Um, I'm wondering if these might be sterling. Mm, probably not, but let's just see. No. So when the scratch is like a red color, that's the um, copper underneath the metal, so it is not sterling. So um, let's let's start a craft lot. Even though this isn't like craft material, um, it's not really something that I would sell for maybe more than a dollar. So it's eight and a half inches and I will put it, we'll start a craft lot and that'll just be in the craft lot and then we will, um, you know, sell the craft lot toward the end. All right, so this is a um, little lobster clasp. This is all acrylic, but it's actually really pretty. You got some like cloudy beads, some solid beads. You might wanna just take that string off. But other than that, this is a nice necklace. It's in good condition. Perfect colors for the spring and summer. It is a 14, 14 inch drop. And we're going to do that is number two. And we will do this necklace for $5. All right, let's get that in the bag. All right, so let's grab another handful. Uh-oh, we already have something broken. All right, I kind of figured there'd be a lot of tangles. So I might have to just pause you guys at some point. Um... Oh my gosh, yeah, this is, it's those multi-strand necklaces that really do you in. Like, look at this. That's insane. So that's something that I probably won't even attempt to untangle. And just like put it into a craft lot. Sorry guys, I know some of you love this part, some of you hate it, can't please everyone, so we're just going to keep going. If you don't like it, you can fast forward. Like how does, like, how does that, that even happen? Like I don't understand. Like it, it's fully in the necklace. I think I got it. Okay. So we have this little ring. This is definitely another handmade little piece. Um, where's my ring mandrel? This is about a seven and three fourths. Um, I'm going to put that into the craft too. It is glass. So that'll be in the craft lot as well as this guy that's acrylic. Um, that's like a little like animal print. It says PJ in there. I wonder if this is sterling. Oof, I can't even, that doesn't even scratch, all right. So, this is about a size three, so that's gonna go into the craft lot also. Let's, all right, we got this out. So this is um, like a fuchsia, pinky purple, beaded necklace, acrylic beaded necklace. It's actually in good shape and it's quite pretty with this color. 10 inches on the drop. We'll do number three, 
and we'll do this one for, let's just do it for $3. $3, number three. And it has kind of like little graduated, graduated beads. All right, next up, oh, here's another runaway bead that will go into the craft lot. All right, this is plastic or acrylic. It's got like a brick color red and then this like super bright cherry red. Nice big beads with, it seems like it's real black suede. And then it has a lobster clasp with an extender. This one is a drop of 16 inches without using the extender. Do I, am I, I feel like I'm not. Okay, um, this is gonna be number four. And we'll do, <sighs> dropping everything today. And we'll do that for just $4. $4, number four. All right, it seems like we got another one, but in a yellow color. An another great color for the summer. This has like, um, it's almost like borderline green, but it's definitely like more of like a mustardy yellow. Then you have the bright and then the um, solid. And it has a brown suede cord with your extender and lobster clasp. And this one is a 16 inch drop as well. So that is number five. And we'll do this one for $4, just like the other one. It's in good condition. Number five for $4. You can even wear both if you wanted to kind of have like a mixed little thing going on there. All right, we have a rhinestone earring. Actually, it's in good shape and there's nothing missing, so we'll hang on to that. This, though, I'm going to pass and put that into the craft lot. That is a feather. Right, what else are we gonna be able to get out of here? All right, we got this. So th this is actually cool. These, I think, are um, ceramic ceramic with a glaze over it so even if you didn't want this necklace you can definitely harvest those beads for a repurpose piece nine inches on the drop number six and we'll do that one we'll do that one for three dollars if anyone just wants the beads off of it so number six three dollars All right, what's this little guy? Hope, but it has two, three stones missing. So that'll go into the craft lot. All right, I think most of this is going to be its own little lot of jumbled up stuff because I'm not gonna sit here and untangle all of this. So if you wanna take a look, wait, let me try to take out some of these earrings so we could at least maybe find the mates for them. Or if I can get something out like easily, like maybe we can just unclip this guy. Okay, we got that. We got that. All right, so I think the rest I just might leave for a little lot. You have like a little cross right there. Um, so I really don't know what's in here, but it'll be your surprise to go through it. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find another little ugh, baggie. All right, so this will be number seven for this mountain of goodness. And the whole thing will be, let's do $8 on the whole thing. These are acrylic, 
kind of have some cool beads there. You got this going on. You got something that's suede. You got these big pieces. So number seven, and you get all of this fun, fun stuff. Okay. Okay. Now this stuff, now what happened here? So this, this is broken, so that'll go into crafting. This, I think that was, was that the other side of this? Maybe. I think that might have been the other side to this. But it's broke, so that's not going to do any good. And this is not 18 karat gold if it's magnetic. So that'll be in crafting as well. All right, let's take a look at this. So this, um, these are acrylic beads, but I like the gold tone in between. That's really cool. Um, I thought maybe it would be like, um, like gold filled or something, but I don't think so. Yeah, I don't see anything on the class, but it's still really pretty. It's in good condition. 15 inches. It's a 15 inch necklace. Oh, I see a little bit of wear right there. So 15 inch necklace. Little bit of wear, so we'll do three dollars on that. Number eight, three dollars. Let's make that a little smaller so it fits in the bag. Okay. All right, let's try another handful. All right, this right here is going to go in the craft lot 100%. all of these feathers. But this is cool because if somebody wanted to take these feathers off and repurpose it, there's a few of them on there. So that'll go into the craft lot. We have an earring we'll put to the side. We have another handmade ring. Let's see what this one is. This one's bigger. This one's about an eight and three fourths black glass bead. Um, I mean, I guess we can sell them because there's a few. Um, I don't know if anyone would be interested in it, but I guess we can give it a shot. This one will be number nine and we'll just do it for two dollars. All right, um, and then this one, see, I don't know if anyone would want this because this is just plastic. So I'm just gonna, and it's kind of coming apart. So I'm gonna put that one into the craft lot. Oh, craft lot, the craft lot, what is this? Okay, so we have a an open <laughs> bracelet. So those are all acrylic. Those are gonna go into the craft lot. We have an earring with some crosses on it. We'll hold on to that for the mate. Wow, that's a really big earring. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I guess we'll hold on to that for the mate. We'll see what happens. Ooh, we have a little snake ring. Okay, let me just fo focus check us here. So this is actually cool. I don't see any markings. It's definitely just silver tone. Oh, it's probably like a six or so six i would say six and a half oops sorry i would say a six and a half um because it is a wide band so that's in good shape silver tone number 10 and we will do the little snakey for five dollars he's in good shape All right, I saw this guy. Enjoy the journey. It's a little, um, probably aluminum cuff. 
and it is seven inches. What else do we got in here? This is cute, but this is all very worn. So that's gonna go into craft. I'm trying to see if maybe I can pair this cuff with something to make it a little more worthwhile. Um, I don't know, I don't really see anything yet. Um, let's put it to the side and we'll see if maybe we can pair it with something to make it a little bit more interesting. There's an earring we'll put to the side. Here's an earring, we'll put that to the side. Here's, that's just a pendant, we'll put that in the craft. This is going right into the garbage. Yuck. That will go into crafting. Not really in the best condition. All right, let's look at this. This looks like Moon Glow. It is vintage. Very cool little box clasp. This is like um, like a gray, like almost like a white gray, and it's got some like blue, a little bit of blue hue, blue hue to it. They are graduated. Let's see. It is, nothing wants to lay flat today. <laughs> 16 inches. It is 16 inches on the whitish blue moon glow. And it is number 11. And we will do that for $8. $8, number 11. All right, this earring is very cool. We'll hold on to that. This earring, though, is a little messed up, so we'll put that into craft. We have this, which has, um, I'm guessing, maybe somebody's initials all over it. They are all acrylic. These are cool, though. I'll put all this into craft. This is just like a suede necklace cord that will go into craft. We have this earring, we can probably hold on to that for a mate. And we have another cross earring, we'll hold on to that for a mate. All right, let's grab some more. All right, a lot of big hoop earrings. All right, I think we got it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. All right, here is this other earring. I don't know if anyone would be interested in these. Um, it looks like it's a little bit, a teeny bit bent out of shape, so you might have to fix this one a little bit. Oops. Jeez Louise. I just ruined it probably. Oh no, there we go. That's much better. All right, so these are gonna go with this seven inch cuff. So you have a little, um, I'm gonna go too far off the page here. So you have a little a lot there and all silver tone number 12. And we will do both for $5. This has some nice weight to it, so it doesn't feel like junky or anything. This is silver tone. It's got black and clear rhinestones. It's a magnetic closure. I don't see any uh, maker marks. It is a seven inch, good condition, number 13. And we shall do that for $5.
Actually, look, I see this guy sitting over here. Oh no, it's broken. Okay, never mind. So just number 13 for $5. I was gonna say I'll add this, but this had another side to it right there. It's broken off, so that'll go into craft. A lot of cross related things. Um, these, these are missing, this one's missing stones, so that'll go into craft but good for harvesting. Oh, look, wait, here's another magnetic bracelet. Oh, whoops, that one, the magnet came out. So that could just be re-glued, but I'm gonna put that into craft for somebody else to do. Um, but otherwise, it, was, it looks like it was in good shape. Here is, look, another one that's broken. So if somebody likes rhinestones, this craft lot is gonna be perfect for you. This is gonna go into craft because it's all bent out of shape, literally. <sighs> all right, we have a double cross cuff. I don't see any markings, but it looks like it's in good condition. It's silver tone, size seven and a half. Let's see if maybe we can lot it with something else. We have another one of these um, magnetic bracelets. Oh, it has this one has a name on it. It says bracelet, bracelet and co. This one has blue and brown stones. They're all here, and this one's seven and a half inches. So both are seven and a half. So you get both number fourteen, and we'll do them both for five dollars. You don't have to wear them as a set, but I just threw them both in there together. Number 14 for $5. All right, so this is a little earring. I guess we'll hold on to that. Oh, look at this one. I love this one. So this is also a magnet bracelet, but this one's really cool. This one, this one says my brace. And it's pink with dark pink rhinestones. Love that one. There is a little bit of wear on the edges, but from the top, it looks really good. So this one is seven and a quarter. Let me see, do we have anything else? Are these all, these are all earrings. They're not even bracelets. All right, we'll just do that one. Number 15, it does have a little bit of the pink missing, but it's not anything serious. So we'll, we'll only do that one for $4. All okay. um, All right, let's get these earrings because, all right, this one is not, there's nothing wrong with this one, but I think we already put the mate into craft. This one looks good. That one, we're just gonna put all these into craft, whether there's a mate or not. And then if you want them to wear, you can wear them. If you want them to harvest the rhinestones, you can do that too. This one's cool because it has AB crystals, AB stones on it. All right, I think that's it. So those are all going into craft. And let's see. Oh, wait, we might have a branded piece. This is Simply Vera by Vera Wang. It might be missing the tassel. Usually there's a tassel hung here, so I'll probably just remove that if the rest of the necklace is in good shape. Oh yeah, that's pretty. So you got a black stone and like um, kind of like greenish. It's almost like a greenish gray, if that makes sense. And then the white or the clear. And it is a um, gunmetal necklace with an extender. Oops, the drop is eight inches and then you have the extender. So yeah, that's a good one. We'll work with that. That's number 16. And we'll do that one for $5. I'm gonna have to pause the video and go wash my hands and blow my nose because this jewelry is aggravating my allergies. 
All right, um, we'll, we'll finish this and then we'll kind of just pause for a second. All right, so there we go. This is just very, um, very chintzy. So I'm just gonna put that into crafting. Um, where was that little thing with the pearls? That looked nice. Oh, that's an earring. Okay. So we'll hold on to that. Um, I'm going to put that in craft because that's, I don't know what that is. It's kind of a weird earring. Um, some of this I might just put right into craft like that. And this is not in good condition, even though it's cute, like a little pizza pie. Okay, what is this? I have another earring that's going to go into craft. That's going to go into craft. A little silver tone bangle. That'll go into craft. It's missing a stone. Looks like we had some, uh, oh, here's the other one. But it's missing, maybe it had a pearl post. Because here's the other one, but it looks like it maybe had a pearl post. So we'll hold on to those for a second. This is, what are you? You look like you are gold filled or something. Yeah, 1 20th, 12 carat. Oh, just 1 20th, 12 carat. Okay. Very plain, very pretty. And it kind of goes like so. Could even get that engraved. Very cool. It is seven inches. It's in really good condition. It's got, look at the edges. Let me zoom in on that. That is really, really cool. Wow. All right, so 1 20th, 12 carats. So it's not even gold filled or gold plated. It's it's the whole thing. The whole shebang is 12, 1 20th, 12 carat. So we will do that. That's number 17. And let's do that for $15. Number 17 for 15. All right, we got another one of these. I'm gonna put this one into crafting. Um, that one looks more like a ceramic bead. Again, with the feathers goes to craft. Okay, this is actually pretty. It looks like it's in good shape. It's like a, um, a very light blue with the clear stones. And then you have the silver tone. Got a little rhinestone there, but I don't know who the maker is. But this is a really cute spring and summer necklace. And it's a seven inch drop, so you're gonna wanna use that extender. But very cute, number 18. And we'll do that one for, let's just do four on it. I'd rather see it go to a good home at a good price than getting me stuck with it and sitting here alone. <laughs> so number 18, $4. All right, what's all this little stuff? That's cute. This might be sterling. All right, let's look at the other stuff first and clear the table here. So we got an earring, we'll hang on to that because I gotta wash my hands because this is annoying me. It's, it's yucky. This is really pretty. So this is a little star. Um, it does say something on the link. MGA, but it doesn't say anything about sterling. Um, so let's just see. Yeah, not sterling, that scratched red. But it's still pretty. It does have an extender. Without it, it's seven and a half on the drop, so you'll definitely need the extender. 
uh, for the most part anyway. So the little star necklace is number 19 and we'll do that for $5. All right, we got, that's gonna go into craft. This, this is actually really pretty. This has Millefiori beads on it. Really, really pretty. And then some copper toned items, copper toned beads, eight inches on the drop, so it's a 16 inch necklace. That's actually really pretty. Very um, tribal-esque uh, and um, ethnic. So we have number 20. Let's do that for $6. You can even take it apart if you just want the Millie Fury beads. All right. Let's look at this. I'll put all these earrings back here to the side. <sighs> gosh I can't my desk area is just way too small and there's too much here and I just keep knocking everything over all right anyway this is not sterling because it is magnetic um this looks like maybe just an acrylic um red stone it is a size five and three fourths but it is very cute super cute super cute little lady and we'll do that number 21. And we'll just do that for three bucks. All right, so give me a second, guys, while I go wash my hands and blow my nose and probably take a Claritin, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's grab another handful. We have probably two more handfuls left. One or two more handfuls left. So let's see. What is here? All right. Oh, got another runaway bead. That'll go into the craft a lot. All right, so we have a religious bracelet. I wonder if we have anything else religious. I could do a little lot. A little lot see. Um, I don't see anything, so we'll just do this. Um, it's in good shape. It looks like it's hematite. It's stretchy. The stretch is really good. It's sitting at seven inches without having to stretch it. So we shall sell this bracelet, number 22. And we'll do that for $4, number 22, $4. All right, we have, uh oh, hold on. Okay, this earring will hang on to that. This looks like it broke off of a necklace of some sort, so that'll go on crafting. It could be repurposed for another necklace. This one we had, but it's in a different color. So we'll just keep holding those over there. We have another little ring. This little guy is just gonna go into the craft. We have this. This is actually kind of cool, look. Huh, isn't that neat? That's pretty cool. And it has a little peace sign. And you open it like that. Huh. That's actually cute. All right, maybe do we have anything other, any other neon things that we can put with it? Mm, I don't really see anything, so we'll just sell this. It's in good condition. Um, it is uh, six and three, six and three fourths inch, and it'll be number twenty three, and it'll be three dollars. That's actually really cool. Three bucks, number twenty three. All right, we have a shell um, stretch bracelet. Looks like it's in good shape. Stretch is nice. It's sitting at about six inches without having to stretch it. So we will do that for number 24. 
And let me get a bigger bag. I don't know if that'll fit in a smaller one. And we'll just do that one for $4. 24 number, I mean, 24, $4. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's definitely a stone with some um, like wire wrap. Um, let's do that with this one. And let's see, this is like a, a shell necklace in pink tone, pink and white tone. It measures 16 inches. I don't think it'll fit on here, but it's still pretty cool. So we'll do both of those. Number 25. Let's get a bigger bag for this too. And we'll do them both for six bucks. Okay, number 25, $6. Got a little owl earring we'll put to the side. What's this? Okay, this, is this maybe Avon? It doesn't say, but it looks like it would be. Looks like it might need a little bit of cleaning, but other than that, it looks good. Uh, gold tone, it does have like a twisted chain, no extender, 11 and a half inches on the drop. So that'll be number 26. And we'll do that for $5. That's missing a stone, so that'll go in craft. That little guy, we'll see if we have a mate. This is all jacked up, so we'll put that in craft. This one is actually pretty. Look at this bead. It's glass and it's got like a little flower in there. A couple little flowers, that's really cute. Let's see what the size on this one. It's eight and a half. So we will do that one, number 27, and we'll do $2, $2, number 27. We have a cute little stretchy. We'll see if there's anything else we can put with it. That we threw out the other one. Um, well, let's put that on the side for now. We'll see if we can maybe made it with something. There's a cute little earring we'll hold off on. What is this? This is cool. This is like a little cherub bracelet. Oh, and it's marked. Oh, it just said, <coughs> excuse me. It just says solid copper. All right, so let's get a size on this. It looks a little small. Yeah, it's a size six and a half, but it is in very good condition. So you got the little angel babies, the little cherubs, and we'll do that for $5. Number 28. All right, I saw another ring. This one, ooh, that one they made with a sterling silver bead. See the 925 on that? Okay, let's see what size this is. This is a six. So even if you wanted to deconstruct that for the bead, um, we'll do this one for $3. Number 29. 
Um, let's see what this is. All right, this has a $20 tag on it. Um, and it's got these uh, plastic, these are acrylic, but they got like a really cool little like cat eye moon glow type of deal going on here. Um, it might be something handmade. Um, there's no clasp. It's a 12 inch drop. So I'm just going to do this one, number 30 for five dollars even to just you know reuse those beads for something is pretty cool all right let me just switch out this bin oops i'm dropping stuff today all day huh all right we have that little earring that's cute very pretty Just trying to see, I don't think, yeah, we'll see if we have the mate. I don't think it's gold or anything, but we had um, an earring similar to this, but not the same. Here's something else that I might be just selling as is. <laughs> Got a little loose bead that we'll put into craft. All right, so it looks like we have, I'm gonna include, oh no, that's an earring, is it? No, that's just a charm. So I'll include that. Let's see, we have this, I mean, I would love to pull this out, but this is really, that says 925, so that's probably a garnet. You have this necklace. We have an earring stuck in here. You have this blue necklace. You have something with a cross on it. So you'll get all this, and here's the stainless steel L. I mean, I'll put that in there too, a little butterfly clip. Um, I don't know if this is all gonna fit in one thing, but this will be number 31. And it'll be $8 for all this. I don't know if this is all gonna fit, but we're gonna try. Okay. And you know what? I'll put the stretchy in there too. So number 31, eight bucks, and you get that little bag of little bag of goodies. Alright, we have this. This is a little cloisonne bead, but it's all the ring is all jacked up. That'll go into the craft lot. That little guy will go in the craft lot. These are just some singles, so we'll move that over. Not really sure what that is, but we'll put that in the craft lot. All right, so I'm gonna do one more handful, and then there's like the littles at the bottom that we will go through. All right. We have another little stone piece. Let's see, what can we do? Do we have any more stone pieces? Let me peek in the bag. Um, I can do all the rest of the rings. I'm gonna do that because there's quite a few. I'm probably gonna miss some because I don't wanna go through like all of this off camera, you know, so you guys can't see. So we'll just do this. And I saw a couple in here. Here's another one. Got some cloisonne on this one. That one. Most of these are all glass, not all. Um, I think that's all I see for now. So we're going to do this little lot right here. And it's going to be number 32. And it's all going to be $6. All right, that's less than a buck a piece for all that. 
can use the beads for things, however you want to do it. Okay. I see a bracelet. This looks nice. Okay, so it's just a pink and gold tone bangle. Oh, Avon, there we go. I didn't see anything on the inside, but it's Avon, and it looks like it's in really good condition. It is a six and three fourths. Six and three fourths, really good condition. Avon, number 33. And we will do that for $5. $5, number 33. see another bracelet this one is like a copper black and rhinestone and it has I'm just checking for all the rhinestones um, it has the magnets on the back and this says copper okay and it has the fold over clasp this one is a size 8 this is 8 inches number 34 and we'll do this one for $5 All right, we got a big ol' earring right here, but it's missing a lot of stones, so that'll go into the craft lot. We have this bracelet, um, but it has a lot of wear on the back, so I'm gonna put that in the craft lot. Oh, here's another ring, so I'll put all this in the craft lot. That's not coming undone yet, so we'll hold off on that. Here's another earring, but it's broken. Craft lot. Oh, that's pretty. I hope we get the mate to that. So let's put that on the side. That earring we'll put to the side. That one, ooh, that one's got some gunk on it. We're gonna throw that one out. That we'll just put to the side. We have this ring, that's kind of cool. It's like a gunmetal um, rope, twisted rope. Just trying to look on the inside for any markings. I don't see anything. Okay, so this is a size seven and three fourths. Nice stacker. Number 35, and we'll do that for $4. $4, number 35. It's a little pendant. Maybe we'll get a little lot here. There we go. Nice little stretchy that goes with it. We'll put this ring with it, even though it's kind of all jacked up. Um, you can just take the bead off of it. And okay, we'll just roll with that for now. Number 36. And we'll do all that for $4. $4, number 36. We have this earring. We'll hold on to that. This one I'm going to put into crafts because it's very worn. Even if we do find the mate, it's not going to be wearable. Oh my gosh. Alright, we have these earrings, but as you can see, it's got some wear here, so I'm going to put those in craft. Maybe you can, someone can cover them with some beads. This is going to go into craft. Here's more of those rings. All right. Here's a really cool flame earring, so we'll hope for the mate on that. Ooh, here's this one. So that was right here. So it's kind of like you know, the mismatched, I think, unless there's more in the bag, but I'm gonna roll with this. All of them are there. 
Number 37. Um, we will do those for four bucks. That will go into craft. Ew, this has verdigris all over it. That's going right in the garbage. Gonna get all over everything. Here's another ring. That one will go into craft. Or should I start making another lot? Mm, maybe I'll make another ring lot with that one. So I'll hold off on that. Here's a little bracelet. This might be sterling. Oh yeah. There's your 925. This would make a really great um, charm bracelet. I don't know if I got enough of a scratch. Oh yeah, I can see the blue. I know you can't really see it with my light, but it's there. So that'd be, like I said, a really cute either like stacker bracelet or put some charms on that. It is seven inches. It's number 38. And we will do that for $15. $15, number 38, sterling silver bracelet, seven inches. All right, we got this little earring. Oh, we had that earring, didn't we? Mm, mm, um, probably not, it doesn't really go, but we'll hold it off to see. This necklace looks cool. That's Park Lane. All right, cool. Very pretty. Very long necklace. Good condition. 15 inch drop. This just has to be pinched with a plier a little bit. And we're good to go. So that one is number 39. And we will do that for $8. And I thought I saw hair on it. Yeah, that's gross. Okay. What's this guy? So this is in good condition. This is like a really dark gray rhinestone silver tone necklace. It does have an extender, seven and a half inches without it, so you'll probably need that extender. Number 40, and we'll do four on that one. Four bucks, number 40. We have, oh, is this the, this is the earrings the earring to that necklace. So let's hold off on that for now. Got that one, we'll wait on that. This one, this chain is broke. Oh no, it's an earring. Look at that. So we'll hold off on that. And then we got this cool earring. We'll hold off on that. That's gonna go into craft. We have an initial mother of pearl um, earring. We'll hold off on that. Ooh, what's this? That's a dragon on there. Um, I don't really know what all of that means or says, but it is adjustable. I wonder if that's sterling. Hmm. No. All right, how about we take a quick Google image search. Let's see, let me put this on one of my ring stands. Mm. 
No. Oh, wait. There we go. There it is. It's a mantra ring saying money will rain. Cool. But at $51, that's a little crazy. So I'm not going to charge you guys $51, but it is adjustable. See, look at that. Google image for the win. It is a size nine and a half without um, making it larger or smaller. Number 41. And we'll do that for $12. How about that? Pretty cool. All right. Now it's time for the last little bits. That's what it looks like. All right. Oh, look, here's another one. Is it the same size? Yeah, it's the same size. So we'll do that for 12 as well. Number 42, I know you guys can't see that probably. Number, let me move all this back. Oh my gosh, it's giving me anxiety already. Number 42 is $12 as well. All right, um, let's try to get like the earring, the earring mates. What do these say? Excesso craft, but it's got some doo-doo on the back. So I want to see maybe we can put together another little lot with these, the rest of these rings. So we'll do that one. That one has 925 on it. Is this the other earring? No, that was the first one. Okay. Looks like we have some men's rings that I'm going to put with this little ring lot over here. That one with the little ring lot. This one with the little ring lot. Oh, here's another one of the Make It Money Rain rings. Same size, nine and a half, but remember, they are adjustable. All these I'm putting into craft so they're not rolling all over my desk. Okay. So that's the same size, but remember it is adjustable and they're all the same condition. Very nice. Number 43. And this one will be 12 also. Here's another ring. that ring in there this one okay I think that might be all the rings if I find any more I'll add to it so you got all this for one money number 44 and we'll do all that for five dollars um we have the two men's rings i think that's all i saw so we have this one which has these are spinner rings they don't have to be men's rings i just figured because they're bigger but it's a spinner ring, so it's got the chain. These are probably stainless steel. This one's a 10 and a quarter. So that one is number 45. And it will be $5. Then we have this one that has the little wave. 
Um, and this one, they're all both in good condition. Ten and a quarter also. Number 46. I gotta get more baggies. And that one will be five as well. Um, oh yes, so we have this one. Yay, and nothing's missing. So excited about that. So here's, oh no, it's different. It's gotta be the mismatched earrings because look at this it's like the sun and the moon come on that is awesome everything's there so we'll do those number 47 for five dollars those are really 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 cool that did not fall out that was already on the table Um, okay, so now we got, let's see, I know I saw this one. What is this? It looks like a little bumblebee body. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Oh, they say something on the ear. I can see it. What does that say? Oh, S925. It's upside down. Okay. Yep, so those are definitely uh, vermeil earrings. How cool. So they would sit on your ear like that. Those are neat. So those are number 48. And we'll do those for $14. $14, number 48. Very cool. Vermeil. Um, okay, this is going to get to the point where... Oh, that's definitely native. Look at that. Barney Sterling. Ah, what? 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 All right. Most of this is going to go into um, crafting unless you see something that you would like. Oh, yes. Here's this other earring. Okay. So here's the uh, clip-ons to that Park Lane. Um, but the pad is missing on this one. So I'm going to sell these separate in case someone doesn't want them or like them or whatever. It's number 49, and since it's missing one of the pads, I'll only do them for $3. Okay, $3 for the Park Lane Clippies, but otherwise they're in good shape. Um, yeah, so unless you're seeing something, you know, you can screenshot it and let me know. Like here's the mate to these to this, so I'll add backs. Those are really pretty. I don't see a maker mark. Oh wait, they say something on the post. I can see it. Oh look, these are nine two five two S nine two five, Sterling nine two five. So I'll put. I don't have Sterling backs though, so you're just gonna get regular backs. But they're little. Um, Wreaths with rhinestones and pearls, number 50. And we'll do those for 12. 12 doll hairs. Um, Because I don't, there's not many mates that I'm seeing. Like this would be really cool. If it had the mate, it's all, it's kind of jacked up in there. Um, that, oh, he would be super cool if he had a mate. Um, a lot of owl, that's cool, but no mate. That's nothing, that may be, that might have been sterling, but nope. There's a little keychain. So if you, oh look, we have the eyeball meat. So if you see anything, um, I'll probably just do all this stuff for like two for a dollar for the most part, and unless I'm pulling it out specifically and giving a number and a price. So you got the green eyeball earrings. 
Huh, these say 9252, but they're not. <laughs> I can tell you right now they're not. Uh, number 51. And we'll do those for four. And if they are, well, then you get sterling silver for four bucks. But I don't think they are. All right, number 51 for four bucks. Let's see what this is. Mm. Don't think that's sterling. I don't really know what those are. Those are so lightweight. Here's a pair of hoops. They might be, I don't, I don't think they're sterling. I mean, they look pretty tore up to me. The coating is coming off. Um, I'm missing a stone on that. Here's another mint, uh, spinner ring. It's got all the, the suits. The heck is on my finger. <laughs> so another star, uh, stainless steel spinner. Again, 10 and a quarter. Number 52. And we'll do that for five. Got all the stuff back here. That's Monet, but there's oh, there is the mate right here. But I don't know if that's dirty. Or that's wear, I think. So those will just be a dollar because it's two for a dollar. Oh, that's really cool. But there's no mate. There's no mate. There's no mate. There's no mate. All right, so if you saw anything that you want two for a dollar, just holler at me. And then you got the other guys up here with no mates. So let me zoom you guys out a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let me do the... Um, oh, wait. So this... This somebody can make into a necklace. Um, I can do it. You know what, I think I'll do it. I'll make this into a necklace and bring it back. I just gotta put a jump ring on it and a chain. And it's uh, Sujalite, Turquoise, Onyx, and Mother of Pearl, it looks like. So I'll do that, I'll transform that and bring it to the next video. And the craft lot will be ten dollars and you get all of this goodies especially if you're a rhinestone lover this will be for you for sure all right so that's about it guys so let me know what you thought it actually wasn't bad i mean it oh look at those you can get those for a dollar two for a dollar um it wasn't terrible but i'm not going to be racing to go buy another one anytime soon but um, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Here is the ordering instructions one last time. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe right down here. It's free. Thank you so much again, and we'll see you in the next one.